PTL Arts, crooked at my studio. I think it's a bit crooked, is it? Yeah, crooked at my studio. I'm a crook in my studio. <laughs> I'm looking at my computer there, there. So the reason is, is that I'm going to turn it around like that. But first of all, when I'm, and I just want to get it level, there we are. And I'm just going to show you the image I'm going to paint first with acrylics. Well, that's all I'm going to do today. So you'll be seeing it in acrylics to start with. I'll just show you the image that I'm using. Um, there it is. So yeah, I'm going to try and paint the ship. I've done it as a uh, watercolour already, so I'm a bit familiar with it. Uh, but I haven't done it in oils, which is going to end up being a rather nice schooner. So uh, I want it to an experiment as usual. So there we go. So there we have it. There's my blank screen. I'm ready to go. I've got three brushes here. Three brushes. Three acrylic brushes. A little one, medium one, big one. Very technical. And I'm doing it with basic primaries and the acrylics. I've got my water at hand, so I'm using the primaries and white. So I'm going to start off by working from the middle of the canvas like I normally do. I work from the middle of the canvas which I will find with a tiny bit of blue on my brush. Find the middle. Just mark the middle of the canvas. It's about there. There's the middle of the canvas. Then I can also mark the middle of my image. I don't know roughly where it is on the screen. Right, okay, so not there. Not there. Right. So I can work now I can work, so I'm gonna keep turning round. So the first um colour I'm gonna be looking for is like brown really, sort of a brown. So we know that brown is made of blue isn't it we've got blue and yellow makes green so there we have a green and then green with some red We should get eventually. I don't mind if it's a ready brown, it's leaning on a ready brown. Of course, then you start if you mix with these primaries to start with. The great thing is, is that you'll really learn absolute loads, absolute loads rather than just getting the colors already made up. You can start with these. I'm just going to start off with this small brush and mark out. Make some marks. It's interesting actually because I've been working with the watercolours. Um, Now with acrylics, which is completely different. Use 
quite a bit of water as well. So they're actually working with the acrylics and the watercolors has got a similarity. There is a, uh, so there we have that side and then that's going to be the side of a, a sail there. So I'm just going to put a light mark there. And then I'm going to have another mast is going to be, there's a sail there, down there, down there, Bosch. There. And I'm going to have another sail. It's not quite another mast down there. And then I'm going to have another mast. So it's a three mast schooner, whatever that means. I don't really know much about boats. I've always lived by the sea though. And I <coughs> know remarkably little about lots of things. So I used to get worried about the fact that I don't know much about much about anything. But there comes a point where you just have to go, well, you know, some things you're good at, some things not so good at. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm learning to paint and I've been doing pretty well at that. So I'll just carry on with that. So I'm going to keep working with this brown. This is a new idea. These are tear off palettes. It's a new idea to me anyway. So I can show you the colours that I'm using. I have to keep looking at the there, see? So I'm starting to mix up there. And it's sort of a plasticky stuff, so I'm pretty sure that I'll be able to use it more than once. Um, it's really good for demonstrating. So I've got that at a slight angle, yet yeah. that's just at a slight angle. Oh, that wasn't very clever, was it? So a slight angle there. And um, it's interesting, I've got some yellow on my finger now. So I'm just going to put what looks to be I was kind of forced to do that through a little accident that I had there. And there's going to be some tails and right to the edge of the canvas. That's right to the edge. It's making some marks really, so I've got a rough idea where things are going. Uh, There, and then um, a kind of light mark under there. Just get a cloth for a second. Get a cloth. So I'm just trying to get some sort of uh, in fact, it's getting all of this darker. So it's more leaning on the green side of brown at this time. So it's darker brown. It's kind of darker. See, it's slightly darker, isn't it? Uh, just to start to mark out. Why did I stick my finger in the paint and drop the paintbrush? Because it's good fun, isn't it? Yeah, I'm just making a mark of where the bottom of the boat's going to be. That's going to come around there. There's going to be a mast going right to the edge of the canvas. There.
I might have to reposition this here somehow. This has got a bit right, and then I've got to think about the a bit more blue there, just a bit of blue here, just to Oh yeah, that's right, okay. Right, bigger brush. Bigger brush, loads of water. Just gonna get some blue Start marking out something in the sky. Have blues and reds. The acrylic paint dries quite quickly. Nice and quick, loads of water. And some quick loads of water. Get a general feel of the colours and where the boat might be. And then uh, race C type and I'll just have a quick look at the sails. The sails are nice it's a sort of orangey it's marking some of the if I can get the right sort of colour. So I'm gonna try and get an orangey colour here, uh, which of course would be oh, it's a nice pink now. I might just uh, yeah, it's a nice pink over it. I'm not using that in a minute, but orange. There we are. Orange sails. Kind of orangey sails. Orangey sails. See we've got Out there. I'm not going to be too prescriptive about this. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's good. That's giving me where I need to change it. I need to change all of this, which is fine. That's the whole idea. It's like about marking out. It's not about drawing. It's not about. It's about marking out and getting. If I'm looking over my shoulder at the sails, trying to find out where they should sit in the overall painting. Uh, now I'm just starting. I felt uh, a little bit uncomfortable to start with. So I'm working at an angle I don't normally work at. I'm working with a palette that I don't normally work. I've got the camera in the place where I haven't done before. I blah, 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 the list goes on. But it's good, it stretches you and you surprise yourself. I surprise myself, so get more red in there. Like this orangey idea is starting to be quite sort of exciting, so it's quite dark, darker orange there. Put some of this darker colours there. So this sound is going to go there. I think this mask. I'm just going to, with my small brush, just knock up a bit more um, brown in this corner because that's where it was. So 
red, blue, to get purple, here's a purple, red, blue, purple, and then the yellow, which I've got all over the canvas because I've dropped all over the palette. Yeah, can you see what I'm doing? Yes. So up here, I'm just getting a, it's quite green, isn't it? I need some more red. There, so I can reconfigure these masks now. So this mask I want to be sort of more over here. This mask is sort of more there, like, and that means this one over here, we can shift, we can shift the over to here, really. There we have it. That's a better idea. So all of these other marks will get lost. Oh, it'll get lost. Well, they just put a bit more dark down here with this little brush. Just use the paint I've got up on it. I've got on it. Get the energy into the canvas. Try and put some brush strokes on the whole thing. Then I'll put that there, get this brush again, get back to this orange, dark orange with a bit of blue in it, orange and blue. Amazing what you can do with the uh, so I've got a sail coming down there on a bit more yellow, red, water, that's a bit water, didn't need, didn't need to, didn't ought to forget the water, like this, it goes around there like that, across there like that, then we've got a bit of a gap before we come to this sail which is to there, down to there, across there, and that gives me a nice bit of room to get these end sails. Water, orange, whoops, brown, so it's one sail, two sails, three sails. Four sails, this last one more anchored. There we are. So we're starting to, something's starting to happen now. Right, so the edge of this boat is coming right out here. Coming right out here. Of course, it's not watercolour, so the thing with watercolour is you're a bit ginger with it because. Once you've made a dark mark, it's really difficult to get rid of it. Whereas with this, it's gonna kind of be an oil painting. So this is like, I, this is just playing with the idea. Do I actually want to paint this? I've just thought it was a good idea because I've been, I've been working red, blue, Nice and dark, isn't it? That's nice and dark. Right, okay, so just coming right here. Yes, of course, I can put colours on top of darks here. It's a different, I can be more free in my build up.
So this is the edge of the end of the boat is like underneath this sail here. And then that gives me plenty of room to put this mast, which will finish. With this. Yeah, so I just want to know where it's going to be. Right, let's just get a bit of green, green, light green. And there as well. So I've got my basis for my boat now. So I'll just get that smaller brush, put a few details in just so I can see. Oh, oh I'll put it on here, haven't I? Look. There, so with this, with the primaries, you can see all these different tones and colours beginning to appear, which I want to be incorporating this. I need to get rid of this mask, doesn't exist anymore. Uh, that's kind of in the, that's where it should be. So I'm just going to... I'm just going to do. Rid of them basically, or disguise them a bit at least, and then a little bit more discerning. No, it's there. How's that fixed on there? Lots of lots of rigging that will come into it. Uh, as it develops. Quite a pretty ship actually. Rigging and shadows and all sorts. There, yeah, so There we have it. We've got like uh, the starting of a the starting of a ship, the starting of a ship. Um, that was like twenty minutes, half an hour, or something. But I've got a basis that I can work from. So I'll do a few more layers of acrylics so that I'm happy with what I've got and then I move on to the oils. So, thank you very much.